The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power has approved one of the state's largest recycled water projects. It breaks ground in the San Fernando Valley this winter, and the goal is to create a sustainable source of local drinking water for the city of L.A. by producing 20 million gallons per day of purified recycled water. Jesus Gonzalez is the manager of water resources at LADWP. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, and thank you for having me. When you talk about that 20 million gallons of water, that's like 250,000 customers. Correct. It's a significant amount of water and it's much needed here in Southern California. We spoke about climate change. Thank you for asking that question. And we're seeing the impacts that climate change is having in our communities. The, the mountain fire is a clear example of the troubling impacts that climate change has here in Southern California. And the same is true with uh, our water supplies. Climate change is having a devastating impact on our water supplies. So be, to be able to produce a project of this size and scale that, that to your point will create a new supply of water for a quarter million customers. It's something that we're really excited about. Yeah, one of the things you're talking about is this is producing purified recycled water. So talk a little bit about the technology that's being used and why this hasn't been done in the past. Yeah, because a lot of people hear this and it's like, I right. don't know. And, and, and clearly, I, I totally get it. Um, the key thing about the technology is that it's proven, it's safe, it's used around the world in Singapore, in Israel, in South Africa down the street in Orange County, it's been successfully used for over 30 years. It would be some of the cleanest water in the entire state. Have you tried it? I have tried it. <laughs> there you times. go. Yes. Have you brushed your teeth with it? I have. Okay. I'm still here. Uh, my teeth are whiter than ever. There you yes. go. Oh, so it works, <laughs> right? Well, that's, I, I, you have to do this type of thing. I, I don't think people realize that we actually import about 90% of our clean water. So something needs to give here as right. you're talking about, because eventually uh, as we see more of these droughts and, and some of these impacts that we've seen the last few years here in Southern California, mm -hmm. we're gonna run out of water. And we saw it clearly in 2022, um, the impact that climate change is having on our water supplies has depleted California's storage of water. Again, not just in California, but across the Western states. So to be able to develop new supplies of water that are local and uh, drought resilient is critical for us. You mentioned the fact that LA imports 90%. All of that's vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. So be, to, to be able to invest in large projects like the Groundwater Replenishment Project, which again is local, it's drought resilient, it's safe, and it's affordable to our customers, it's a win-win for, for, for the city of LA. Yeah, the drought's something we have been talking about for a while. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, right. we should be talking about it. But, you know, moving forward, how much is this project costing? How is this going to affect consumers? Because, you know, people don't want their bills to go up. Our bills are already expensive in other ways. So two key points to emphasize here. It's a major investment on behalf of the city of LA. We will be investing $740 million to build this new uh, facility in the San Fernando Valley. But the key point is that almost half the project cost has been, is going to be funded by external funding partners, by local uh, city departments, by state agencies, by the federal government. We've received over $400 million to offset the cost of the $740 million investment. So it's a true partnership between a number it, of agencies. It, it's a partnership. It's being funded by the state, by the federal government. Again, given the severity of climate change, they want LA to take bold action to address the impacts that climate change is having on our water supplies, and we are. With those federal dollars, any concern with the new administration coming in? Well, the Fed, we've been working with both sides, um, working with the feds specifically on pursuing additional grant funding. Uh, we are optimistic that we will continue to receive additional funding in addition to the $400 million from the new administration to support this project. All right, Jesus Gonzalez, thank you so much for being here this thank morning. You. Appreciate you. it. Yeah.